you're already directing audience to your blog. You're building great content on your blog. What you should really be doing is capitalizing on that, right? Like you want to then monetize your blog and start to see the fruits of your labor there. Blogs can see conversion rates up to six times higher than other marketing methods. So definitely great content there. It's great for SEO and people are already reading something relevant. Most likely natural progression to this is then to hey, we have a course on the same subject matter or a related subject matter. It's a natural conversion for most people. I'm gonna go through a few examples that I found. These are all different spectrums, but just some good examples. I'll just show you some of what other people are doing in the realm. This is Bandit, uh, a running company, and this is gonna be their blog. Something that they do is they keep their content very relevant to their brand. This is one of their marketing campaigns that went viral, just the unsponsored project for potential athletes going into the Olympics. It's actually really genius in itself. Their blog is just really nicely designed. They always have the call to actions to shop their products and their subject matter itself is what's leading people to then take additional action on their site. So typically just a simple layout for this one, but it's compelling because of the content that they do have. I'll go to this one here. So this is a, a blog on climate change. And what I wanna showcase here is a nicely written, a lot of great content, some great imagery. In this blog, they even have a trailer to a, a YouTube video here. But what they're trying to promote is their subscription to their newsletter. So they want to have subscribers. So you'll see they added this call to action in the middle of the content. If you keep scrolling, they have some more engaging content here. The big thing is they really want them to take that action and to subscribe. We'll be able to mimic this with the WordPress plugin here in a bit. So those are just a few examples that I pulled just for this uh, webinar. If you're blogging, I'm sure you've seen even more. I'm sure you've made even more. There's tons of ways you can go about this. And here at Teachable, we have been working to make it easier to feature the Teachable products. So I'm gonna introduce you to our WordPress plugin. If you haven't installed it yet, um, we built a native WordPress plugin for Teachable. WordPress powers almost 50% of the internet. So almost all of website, 50% of all websites on the internet are powered by WordPress. The percentage of blogs powered by WordPress is even higher. So 97% of all blogs are powered by WordPress. So it makes sense for us to build a special tool specifically for these blogs and these websites. So what the WordPress plugin does is it makes it easy for you to sell your courses and bundles. So I'm going to walk through the process of how to get this set up really quickly. We have a great support document and walkthroughs for you to take your time and kind of run through it. For now, just bear with me and we're going to run through it together quickly to show what it's capable of. But it's, to make it easier, if you're adding a blog post, you can really quickly add these courses and make them purchasable for the people that are already reading your post that you've created. It leverages our secure checkout. Everything that you're familiar with on Teachable, it uses all the best features of that and goes from there. What's even better, it's fully customizable. It'll match your website that you spent maybe years building on WordPress. So it'll seamlessly match and feel like a part of it. So here's a prompt to install and set up. We'll share this in a bit. For now, I'll just walk you through what this will look like and how to get it set up. Again, this is gonna be super quick. We do have a very slow paced walkthrough that we'll share and our support doc has a lot of great answers to a lot of the common questions. But this is what our WordPress plugin is gonna be. So this is a standard WordPress site. This is a blog post that I wrote about how beneficial it is to have a dog while you're working from home. We have this content about our dogs and we want to feature our puppy 101 class. And so this is all coming from Teachable. What's awesome with our plugin, any of your content that you upload to Teachable will then seamlessly sync. So if I go to Teachable and upload a new photo, the next time the data syncs, the new photo will come through. But you'll see we're doing similar to what we did or what we saw in those examples, right? Like in the middle of our content, we're featuring a big image, the pop of color, but we want them to purchase our course. And then we're doing the same thing that we saw where at the bottom of the blog post, we're going to have another call to action that says, hey, purchase Puppy 101. If you like this content, you're going to love learning even more. So this is another blog post. With our plugin, you can insert this content into columns, into any of the blocks that WordPress Gutenberg Editor supports um, by default. So you can really change up what's displayed here. Here, this is a little earlier in the blog post. Maybe we don't want that huge image of the puppy. We just want to feature it. Hey, we do have a course for sale that's related read a bit more, and then sandwich the content with another call to action. So that's going to be what I'm showing how to set this up on your WordPress website. And this is a good way to integrate it into your blog post. And so to get this installed on your WordPress site, you just need to log into your WordPress dashboard. Just view our support document or watch one of the in-depth uh, walkthroughs. I just want to show how easy it is to get everything set up. 
So this is a standard WordPress site. Yours may look a little differently depending on what versions you're on. But the goal is you just need to add a new plugin and that plugin is going to be our Teachable plugin. So we're going to search for Teachable. Here it is, Teachable by Teachable. So this is our official plugin and we're just going to click install now. So now the Teachable plugin is installed on my WordPress site. There's one final step needed um, to make this truly useful and that's tying it to your Teachable school. To do that, you'll see a couple uh, call to actions here, one to sign in or one to get started if you don't have a Teachable account. I do, so I'm going to click sign in here and log in. Perfect. And this will take you to the WordPress app within your Teachable admin. This is available under settings and then app hub. I'll just take you there so you can see. And you're going to be looking for this WordPress card. This is going to be our new app. Once you're on this page, it'll tell you a little bit about this new plugin, how to use it. But really all we need to do is click install, and this is going to produce a WordPress key for us. This is what's going to be tying our WordPress site to our Teachable school. So we'll go back to this page that was uh, previously open in WordPress, and we just need to paste that key here. We'll click save changes, and that'll refresh. If you have a green uh, statement here, it'll pull the school that's tied in. So this is the school I wanted. This is Chase Warher School. That's all that's needed to install the WordPress plugin on your WordPress blog. Once it's installed, there are a couple options here. How to use tab will walk you through how to use the plugin itself. Sync data is the other options that you have. So by default, what's going to happen is every night at 2 a.m., and you can change that time if 2 a.m. is a busy time for your business. Typically, you want this to happen at an off time, but you can change this at any time to maybe noon is a slow time for me. And then you just click save. The time that is set to, if you don't change it, it'll be that 2 a.m. time. It'll do a sync every day. If you go into Teachable and you're updating a lot of your course content or your bundle content, and you want to see those reflected immediately on your WordPress site, you can always come here and click Sync Now, and that's going to refetch new data from Teachable. So that way, if you've updated that puppy photo for Puppy 101 and you want to see the latest and greatest immediately, you just come here, click Sync Now, and that'll happen. The last option here is just plugin deletion preferences. So just what happens if you ever delete the Teachable WordPress plugin? If by default, you'll keep the data. And what this means, if you delete the plugin, anytime you reinstall, that WordPress key will still be saved and the data will seamlessly sync up. If you remove the data, you'll have to go through that install process again. So now the plugin is completely set up. Those are all the options for you. And I'm going to show you how to integrate it into your post. So your blog post, similar to what I have here. And we'll just create a new blog post. Hopefully similar to you if you're using the standard Gutenberg editor. There are a lot of different editors for WordPress out there. If you're using the standard WordPress Gutenberg editor, um, the process to add the block is going to be very similar to every other block that you've added. So you'll have the big plus sign here. You can search for Teachable. Perfect. There's our Teachable Buy button. The preview is going to pull your first course or bundle that comes through in the data. If you don't have an image in there, those might not show on this view, but no worries. We can show you how to get those added. Another way to add a block is this plus sign. You'll find this or you can search for it. You can always do a backslash and teachable buy button. I just like this big view so I know exactly what I'm getting. So I'm just going to click and add from here. And so this is adding, again, the very first course or bundle that's published or that has a pricing plan in the data. So that's what's going to load by default. And in order to change which course or bundle is featured, you just need to change it in the side panel. If this isn't shown, sometimes this is hidden. If you're in focus mode in the editor, you can click this. Uh, button in the top right here for settings. And if this block is selected, you'll see the option here. So if it's not selected, you can select here. And this is where you can change which product is featured. We don't want Puppy 101. We want, oh, I have a lot of other courses. Let's do making the student experience more seamless. Perfect. So this is going to pull in all of the information. You have the ability to click in and make adjustments. You're going to be able to use the standard styling for WordPress here. So you can select the styling, change the backgrounds to different colors. By default, these are the ones that are for your theme. You can select any color. You can change all sorts of padding, margin. Any of the features or options that WordPress gives you are going to be here. But the big thing that I want to showcase now is just how to change the pricing plan. By default, a pricing plan has to be selected. That's how this link is generated. But you can't remove the one pricing plan that's been added until you add a different pricing plan. This is the additional one that I want. I've added it. I only want to showcase that one. You can display as many as you'd like. You can keep adding and all those will seamlessly show and your users will be able to select which ones they want. And then the data that's pulled through here is optional. So everything except for the pricing plan and button. So 
similar to what we showed in that example, I don't want to show the image in each case. You just select that and you can delete it and showcase exactly what you want. Like for students enrolled, maybe I don't want to showcase that until it's a little more popular. No worries. And last updated date, eh, super relevant for me. So I'll just delete those two. And then this has the columns. So you just close those out. We'll remove that. And we have the standard display here for the block. Tons of options here. I won't go into too much detail just because so much you can do with the block itself. Definitely get in here as you're adding a blog post. The real value is you can be seamlessly, I'm in here, I'm adding my blog post. I love puppies. And you're just in here typing your content. And if you're a great writer, much better than I am, everything is flowing. You don't want to disrupt your flow of adding your content, but you do want to start adding these call to actions to add and or to purchase your course or bundle. And so you can quickly add that. And there you go. Before this was a process where you'd have to go and copy and paste all the information over. You'll have duplicate. Now everything stays in sync and you can quickly add these as many as you'd like within a blog post. And I think a really great strategy is to have something early in the blog post, similar to what we showed here. And then again, sandwich the content. If it's a really long blog post, maybe I would add another one in bullet point five, but definitely as a conclusion, as the last step someone could take up after reading your great content, another block with a call to action to purchase your course or bundle. And that's going to be the gist of our WordPress plugin and how I would use it to monetize your blog posts. What if your blog's not built on WordPress? We do have something for you as well, and that's going to be under courses or bundles. You'll just select which one you want to feature. And we have an option here called embed, and this will be available to work on any other website builder that you have. So if you have a Squarespace website or a Squarespace blog, you can customize the options similar to what you saw on the other, remove the image, and then you'll just copy this code and paste it in and you'll have that embed available for you there.